हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर विवेक अग्रवाल आई एम एन एंडोक्राइन सर्जन एंड डायबिटिक फूड स्पेशलिस्ट एंड यू आर हेयर विद मी एट माय क्लिनिक एंड वी टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल एंडोक्राइन सर्जिकल प्रॉब्लम्स एंड डायबिटिक फूड डायबिटिक फूड एज यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड इज अ वेरी ड्रेडिड कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ डायबिटीज वी ऑल नो दैट इंडिया इज सून गोइंग टू बी अ वर्ल्ड कैपिटल इन डायबिटीज एंड डायबिटिक फूड इज most common and dreaded complication of diabetes world over one foot is being amputated every 5 minute so you can imagine the burden of this disease i'll give you a basics of how this disease occurs so whenever a patient has got long standing diabetes in spite of having a good control there is a gradual damage to the nerves now by nerves we understand the organs or the the way the mechanism which takes our sensations from our foot to our mind so whenever these nerves they are like electric wires in our body whenever they get damaged because of long standing diabetes our foot does not realize the pressures the heat cold any trauma any pricks and this is what makes him prone to various injuries another complication because of long standing diabetes is blockage of the vessels so this leads to poor blood supply and hence the patient does not have the capacity to heal and sometimes the poor blood supply itself can you know lead to uh, gangrene or ischemia of the foot again precipitating this disease so there are two phenomena which are working one is lack of sensation another is lack of blood supply these are working at the macro level then at micro level there is lower immunity microangiopathy which means smaller vessels which maintain the homeostasis and uh, it, you know which help in healing of the wound those systems are also damaged so in turn patient starts developing uh, to begin with small callosity is corns and these are basically tip of iceberg so when we neglect these these gradually lead to formation of ulcer cracking down of skin and then infection adds on to from the surrounding environment leading to cellulitis and wet gangrene and septicemia so this is how a diabetic foot problem starts and it can end by not only taking limb from the patient but life so we have to be really aware of this disease and prevent it at the uh, level when it has not even started manifesting that is we have to have a good control of diabetes we have to look at our foot regularly all diabetic patients we say that should look up their foot the way they you know look at their face in the mirror so every morning as soon as they get up and before sleeping they should check their feet for any crack in the skin any injury any callosities corns infection redness which are early signs of diabetic foot and uh, we have small instruments like uh, this is a monofilament which helps in uh, testing the early sensory losses this is a plastic no atraumatic kind of instrument wherein we prick the patient's foot to see whether he can uh, you know get the pressure sensations or not then there are other instruments like doppler which we use uh, you can see here which we use to see the blood supply of the foot okay so this will tell us whether there is adequate supply whether the wound which is patient is having will heal or he need some revascularization and all those things then besides prevention at our diabetic foot clinic we Uh, teach patients how to be uh, how to wear you know how to check their feet how what kind of footwear one should wear if he has ulcer how to take care of the wound wound management comes in the therapeutic part which again is lacking in our country we have to have dedicated wound care staff nurses technicians and patient also needs to be taught because these patients come from far off it is very difficult that they walk in our clinic every day to get the dressings so they have to understand 
basic aseptic dressing methods and uh, we teach them then we also take care in of their surgical aspects in case they require sometimes we have to hospitalize the patient if patient is too sick or having extensive infection so this is all about diabetic foot uh, what i want to the message which i want to give is that uh, we have to really be careful about not only diabetes but its complications foot being one of the most important complications because the morbidity is too too much it's too much to pay for you know uh, our day to day li living and everything is hampered because of diabetic foot thank you